Hi, this is Sarah from This Savvy Professor, and in today's video, we'll discuss how to fix the error code F2E2 in the Kenmore Elite dishwasher. But first, what does F2E2 mean? The F2E2 error signifies a communication issue between your Kenmore Elite dishwasher's main control board and the user interface board. The main control board is responsible for issuing commands to components like pumps, valves, and motors. In contrast, the user interface board translates those commands into understandable signals for you, like displaying wash cycles and remaining time. The following are some of the common causes of the F2E2 error code. Loose or damaged wiring. Error F2E2 in your Kenmore Elite dishwasher typically indicates a communication issue between the main control board and the user interface board. These boards rely on cables to transmit signals and instructions. Loose cables or damaged wiring can disrupt this communication by introducing signal interference or preventing data transmission, leading to error F2E2. Faulty Connectors The connectors in your Kenmore Elite dishwasher act as crucial bridge points between the cables and the control boards, ensuring proper signal transmission. If the connectors become corroded, dirty, or physically damaged, this communication can be disrupted, leading to errors like F2E2. Internal Board Issues Electric components serve various supporting roles in your Kenmore Elite dishwasher, such as regulating power, protecting circuits, and facilitating communication between the different boards. Their harmonious interplay ensures your dishwasher functions efficiently. Faulty electronic components within the main control or user interface board could disrupt communication and lead to error F2E2. Now, let's look at the best solutions you can apply to fix the F2E2 error code. Inspect the wiring harness. To do this, ensure the dishwasher is disconnected from its power source. Open the dishwasher door and remove the lower dish rack to access the interior components. Examine the wiring harness connecting various dishwasher components and gently tug on the wires at each connection point to check for signs of looseness. Look for any visible signs of damage, including frayed wires, cuts, abrasions, or exposed conductors. Check for faulty connectors. Try the following. Ensure the dishwasher is disconnected from its power source to avoid the risk of electric shock. Open the dishwasher door and remove the lower dish rack to access the interior components. Look for any visibly damaged or loose electrical connectors within the dishwasher. These include those attached to the control board, water inlet valve, drain pump, heating element, and door latch assembly. If you identify any loose connectors, carefully push them back into place and ensure they are securely attached to their respective components. Tighten any screws or fasteners holding the connectors in position to prevent them from coming loose again. Restore power to the dishwasher and run a test cycle to verify if the issue's been resolved. Pay attention to any error codes displayed by the dishwasher during the test cycle. Inspect the internal board for any abnormalities. Try the following. Ensure the dishwasher is disconnected from its power source. Open the dishwasher door and remove any screws or panels necessary to access the control board. Examine the control board for any visible signs of damage, such as burnt marks or scorched areas. Check for any discolored or swollen capacitors, which may indicate a failure. Inspect the control board's solder joints for cracks, breaks, or poor connections. 
If the error persists, you should contact a certified appliance repair technician for a thorough diagnosis and resolution. Thanks for watching. Till next time.